Hello, hello guys. In this video, I'm going to teach you the basics of PvE everyone should know. I will break up this video into 5 sections. What is PvE, PvE mechanics, types of PvE enemies, the goal of PvE, and PvE team and setup. And then, in the concussion, I will show you some tips and tricks. So, what is PvE? PvE, or Player vs Environment, is a term used to refer fighting computer-controlled enemies. In contrast to PvP, Player vs Player. Usually a PvE mode can be played alone, with human companions, or with AI companions. A PvE mode may contain a storyline that is narrated as the player progresses through missions. In our case, Warface, it is mostly with human companions as its cooperative PvE. I mean, you can still play the missions solo, like I did in my Coop solo series, but it is intended to play with the full team. Also, in Warface Coop missions we don't have any kind of storyline, although we kind of have it in special operations. Especially in the newest ones. There are currently 12 special operations. The HQ, Cold Peak, Pripyat, Earthshaker, Cyber Horde, Blackout, Anubis, Black Shark, Icebreaker, Sunrise, Mars and Hydra. Moving on to the second section, PvE mechanics, Warface AI does not have an advanced movement system. The movement system is quite simple and therefore you don't have to try hard that much unless you play on hard difficulty. The AI is not said to be that multifunctional. It does not hide behind cover and shoots from there with all kinds of different animations. It does not change the speed of movement when it's running or walking, which is basically the same in Warface. It crouches only when it's reloading when out of ammo and sits still. Warface AI only stares at you when it sees you and shoots you while moving back and forth. From time to time it throws an aid at you. But of course, there are different types of enemies and there are many of them, including mini bosses and bosses, which behave quite differently. An important thing to say, the method of AI spawning is configured in such a way that you always have to cross a certain point to stop the spawn, otherwise the same enemies keep on spawning from the same spots multiple times. I will show you an example in the video. In this first clip, you can see if I just stop at one point and not move forward, enemies will continue spawning from the same spawns multiple times. It is not sure how long or how many times, it is most likely individual for each map and difficulty. But if you cross a certain point, enemies will not spawn there anymore. You just kill those remaining ones and no more will spawn. PvE coop mode is divided into three difficulties, easy, normal and hard. All of them use the same movement system. Special operations have the same difficulties with one exception. One special operation also has the fourth difficulty, nightmare. What kinds of enemies are there and where do they appear? So firstly, there are normal enemies who appear literally everywhere, except of one special operation called Cyberhorde. The reason is because it's populated with cyborgs only. Secondly, 
advanced enemies. These enemies usually only appear in special operations, but may also appear on Africa PvE missions. Thirdly, elite enemies. These enemies are well equipped and very dangerous. They appear in Pripyat and Sunrise special operations. Next on the list we have sets. I personally hate them. They can kick your ass off. They appear in Pripyat, Sunrise and Mars. Then we have PvE coup bosses and special operation bosses. Cyborgs are also a part of Warface. And last on the list are turrets and drones. Now, what is the goal of PvE? In coup missions, the main goal is to win, logically. But how to have the most successful and beneficial victory? In each mission, there is a required number of kill score and time to be achieved in order to receive crowns. Crowns are one of Warface currencies, which you can buy exclusive stuff for. In order to achieve a massive amount of kill score and an impressively low time, you have to do something for it. To get a high kill score, you should increase the multiplier from 1 to 5 and maintain it by killing enemies. So what is the best way to boost the kill score as well as the multiplier? Well, it's quite simple. Focus on making headshots and headshot combos. Perform special kills such as slide kills, jump kills, melee combo kills, defibrillator kills, nade combo kills and so on. To get a low time, just try to be as quick as possible, but don't take any risks. Beware of heavy soldiers who carry a shield and they can knock you down in a moment. So in summary, just do special kills, make headshots, be fast and check every single corner while rushing. Last but not least, what is the best team setup? The following setup will be applied only to PvE coup missions, not special operations since it's kind of individual for each map there. So for easy difficulty, it doesn't really matter, you can play whatever you want, even if you want to play straight 5 riflemen. For normal difficulty, I would already suggest having one medic just in case, the rest of the team can play whatever class they wish. As for the hard difficulty, I highly recommend having at least one medic or even two. One engineer and the rest of the team could be two riflemen and one sniper or vice versa. The medic should definitely not rush first in hard difficulty. It's not recommended in normal difficulty too. In concussion I would like to demonstrate a few tips for you. Whenever you see a shielder running towards you to knock you down, immediately run to the nearest wall. He will not be able to knock you down there. Then you just immediately jump while being at the wall or any bigger object and take him down by trying to hit his head. Additionally, as a medic you can kill him with a defibrillator. Also, you can distract the shielder by throwing a grenade or smoke nearby him and then shoot him. Another useful tip is to continuously spam your left control key to crouch and stand up from behind an object so that the enemies or turrets will miss all of their shots or nearly all and you won't take damage at all. Do you seem not to have any idea how to kill a machine gunner but you somehow have to go through? No problem. Just throw a grenade to him and he will either get distracted and run away or it kills him directly. Or just flash him. One of the most effective and fastest ways to take down the heavy gunner is by spinning him. It will take just a small damage and you can still heal yourself while doing it. Medic is recommended to be right behind the heavy gunner while shooting its core due to having the highest damage on close range. You 
can also use a flashbang to blind multiple enemies at the same time and shoot them quickly. If a spec ops is shooting you but you can't see anything due to its red laser, just find a cover quickly to go to and then slightly peek off the corner and kill him. He will not see you nor shoot you. If you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button for more content and more guides and press like. Follow me on social media too, links in the description below. Thanks for watching, I wish you an amazing day, goodbye.